we go to Oshun State, where the government on Thursday announced that public schools in the state would return to their previous uniforms before the introduction of common uniform by former Governor Rauf Arigbeshola at the commencement of the new academic session. The single uniform policy, which was introduced at the commencement of the 2013-2014 academic session, saw all public primary and secondary school pupils wearing the same uniform. Special advisor to the Governor on Education, Mr. Jamiu Uluomi, said the new academic session would commence on November 9, 2020, adding that at the beginning of the new academic calendar year, all public school students would return to their old uniforms. Joining us now is the SSA to the Governor on Education, Jamiu Uluwumi. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Now, tell us the rationale behind this reversal by the state government. Yes, uh, uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, first point of uh, correction, my name is Jamiu Olawumi. Olawumi. I'm the special advisor to the governor on education. Okay. Um, the uniform before 2010 uh, is the conventional practice, was the conventional practice whereby individual schools have their peculiar uniform and uh, they identified with it. Uh, if you bear with me, the issue of uniform is like uh, the national flag of countries of the world. Uh, it inspires and uh, it encourages you to want to compete and showcase your school. Uh, that uh, before 2010, when uh, the government of uh, party APC uh, ascended the, the power, the mantle of leadership, uh, was the practice across the state. Uh, but when we, uh, the immediate past government uh, under Ogbeni Alek uh, we were trying to do a lot of interventions. Uh, one of those such interventions was uh, a government. Well, right, I think we've lost to, uh, Okay. Uh, so, go ahead. Go are ahead. You there? I thought, I thought we, we lost you for a second. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, we thought we should do, we, we felt we should do interfer interventions uh, in some areas, and uniform was one of it. Uh, the uh, idea was that every school across the state will wear the same uniform uh, to perhaps uh, remove the, bad, the, 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 the disparity between the poor and the halves. But uh, as time went on, uh, security reports and uh, gangsterism, courtism crept into it. And a lot of uh, report from this uh, Department of State Service uh, was up there that uh, the uniform was becoming inimical to peaceful coexistence of uh, town and gang. And uh, uh, this we tried to do, uh, but the, the report we have when we had town hall meetings from the nine federal constituency, every stakeholder, parents, and uh, general, member of the general public were saying they would not want the uniform, single uniform, monolithic in nature to continue. And uh, also the Department of uh, American GFID, the Department of uh, International Development, also conducted needs assessment, uh, uh, assessment across the state, across every local government at one uh, of the states uh, in Northern State. And they also returned the verdict that we should do away with single and monolithic uniform. So that's why we are to ensure security, easy identification of school, and to inspire right, a healthy competition among schools across the state. Uh, we are to restore the uniform. And come November 9, uh, we will activate that. All right. What is going to be the modalities? Is the state government providing these uniforms? Will there be sanctions against students or schools who refuse to comply? What? But the Goetola government is promoting in Ocean State now is responsible parenting. It will not be out of place for parents and guardians to buy uniform for their kids. And government will not be sponsoring free of charge for anybody. What we are doing now is to patent uniforms for school and give samples to parents. Uh, one, it's going to create more jobs. Uh, it's not going to they are not going to be monopoly uh, in the supply and the sewing of uniform. Our tailors also have a lot, a lot of jobs to do. We are not going to give uniform free of charge to anybody. 
All right, you recall the debate that greeted this decision then. Could it be one of the reasons for this move? Has the concerns expressed by the people been recognized? Yes, um, we thought, you know, every change could have some fears and resistance. We thought it was ordinary resistance that they did not want the single uniform. And uh, when we discovered the underlining uh, challenges facing uh, the project and the policy as, as it were, uh, we brought together eminent personalities uh, presided over by uh, Emeritus Professor Luaina, that was General Kenya, they retired from that committee, eminent people, that was Professor Uyi Wadai, and all of them were there to review the security report on uniform and also to look at the way of uh, championing uh, instilling rival, edgy rivalry in schools so that uh, easily we do away with courtism through the use of uh, um, individual uniforms. But it's at all. If a student is coming from Ikiri, Ikiri to Shobese, about 45, 48 kilometers with the same uniform, you don't know which of the schools, if it's monolithic, as we are, we are having now. Uh, by, but by November 9, every school will have its uniform back restored. All right, can we trust the government that this is a case of discontinuing past government policy? Uh, because uh, the argument might be government should be a continuum. Yes, thank you very much. If you look at the profile of uh, Wego Itola's cabinet today, you have 35, and out of 35, about 23 members in that cabinet served in the last administration, including the governor himself, who was the chief of staff. So there was no way anybody would get it away from us that uh, we are trying to do anything extraordinary. If Ogbenya Igbeshla were to be the governor today in Oshun, and he has a report of town hall meetings where people clamor that they don't want that uniform, and you also have an international uh, research report conducted in Tatuan local government, he wouldn't have continued with the uniform. All right. It's about a person. It's about ensuring good welfare and uh, deliverable education policy to the people of Washington State. All right, Mr. Jamiu Olawumi, thank you very much for joining us on the news. It's a player. It's a player.